everyone, Joel Answer. Today I'm in the Shawlands of Glasgow, outside Porto Peri Peri, guys. Porto Peri Peri. Here doing their cheeky chicken challenge. So this is a very, very large challenge, in fact. It has only been defeated once, and it was only by like 20 seconds. Yes, barely completed by 20 seconds. So for this challenge, guys, it features not only spicy chicken breasts, we can pick a leg or a thigh, it features spicy wings, it features mozzarella sticks, it features uh, peri peri chicken strips, it features two large orders of french fries, it features a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, it features a whole big giant chicken wrap, it features what they call a spicy top box, which is like hash browns slash like tater tots covered in cheese and chicken and mayonnaise and there's probably a garlic bread and there's probably even more I'm forgetting. This is by far the largest, most one of the most diverse challenges I've ever had. Um, that being said, we're gonna have 45 minutes to complete the challenge. It is about 40 quid if we fail, free if we complete it, and there's actually a cash prize. So it's a jackpot challenge, the base at 100, um, so it is gonna be a 250 prize if we can complete it today and or i'm here with my good friend scott so if we could both complete it one will get 250 one will get 100. so long story short guys very very big 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 food challenge here in scotland my first food challenge in scotland first time being in scotland we uh, checked out glasgow it was actually beautiful i'm going to show you around one of my favorite buildings in the world ever here maybe my most most favorite ever so anyway let's head on in let's have some of these food let's get eating guys spicy peri peri chicken voila let's go Hi everyone, so here we are with the Cheeky Chicken Challenge. Very, very, very large. So much so, like, it's, this is a full table of food. So we have the uh, big thing of fries, lots of sticks, garlic bread. This is a spicy top box, which is tater tots, cheese, and sauce. The big wrap, we have the chicken tenders, the chicken wings, the corn on the cob, the uh, chicken breast, the pint of Jerry's ice cream, and a soda. I went with an iron brew as we are in Scotland. This is Scottish soda, Scotland with a 7-up. Uh, we are live at the well. Just thank you everybody tuning in live. So uh, current record is 44 minutes and 37 seconds, I believe. So that is a, and that was not because uh, Mr. Randy Santel, our good friend, was uh, going leisurely. This is a lot of food. We weighed this out. This box itself is three pounds plus everything. This is about, almost, I'm assuming, two pounds of fries. How about we get a rock and roll? Okay. Scott, want to give us a countdown? Okay. On three, two, one, begin. Let's go, guys. I'm going to start with the corn. Mm -hmm. Call me back to you. Oh yeah, the very tender chicken. Beautifully flavored. I'm excited. I've actually never had peri peri chicken before, believe it or not. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here in Glasgow, Scotland, doing this absolutely crazy diverse challenge. So really, I would say this is probably the most diverse challenge I've ever taken. It has pretty much every single item on their menu. Try the old chicken tenders. Mm. Nice flavor. Mm-hmm. Got some like lime or something in there? And let's just say it will definitely be an interesting ride. It's pretty spicy. Yeah, it's nice. But pretty spicy. Um, as we expressed, 45 minutes, hoping to get that free meal and that cash jackpot for 250 quid, um, also known as pounds. And if not, uh, well, we will have to pay for the meal. I don't normally have a timer, so I can look down and have a timer. I usually do. It's nice. Nice to see where you're at. Absolutely. I just got this lovely looking peri peri breast. I do like that flavor. Mm -hmm. But definitely is uh, well flavored. Give it a heat. Got some sausage there. Spicy. 
I see it black. Let's try this out. Mm. Smoky garlic. So this was the first food challenge we were attempting in Scotland and after a day of touring around the beautiful city of Glasgow we were definitely excited to. I have to say though, it's actually, it's really good guys, I'm impressed. First food I've eaten in Scotland. Best food I've ever had in Scotland. That's, yeah, but definitely the best food I've ever had. Uh, hey guys. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good night. A nice welcome to Scotland. Good meal. Everybody's been very friendly. Absolutely. And Glasgow is known as one of the friendliest places on earth. It is. This is actually also my first time ever having peri peri chicken, um, at least like in an actual restaurant, or I really do think at all. I, I've tried like peri peri sauce before, but never like proper peri peri chicken. Um, so I was really enjoying the different flavors. Uh, we did go between like a mild, normal, and hot, like uh, for the different items. So some of the things we had were like spicy, some were more of the normal or mild. That's literally all the edible portions. It's got so much good flavor that you don't want to miss a bit of it. It is very, very tasty. Absolutely. And we're about four, just over four minutes in. Right. Really good though. I'm very much enjoying this. Sorry about the chicken being real tender. And that's kind of that. Um, one thing I will say is there is just a lot of food here. It was a surprising amount. And some items like that tot box um, were just like literally, again, Scott is a scale. We weighed it. Wouldn't you very good? How's the top box? Hot box is delicious so far. Chicken doesn't disappoint. It was like over, th it was at least three pounds, if not a little more. Big chicken wrap too. Mm. Nice flavor. Um, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> Got the mango Ooh. lime in the sauce. And the wrap very tasty, and there's actually matcha sticks in it. It was also super interesting having items like corn on the cob, and you know, like really, like there was a lot of diversity. I mean, a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream as well. Like I've never even seen a food challenge with Ben and Jerry's ice cream, let alone you know a challenge where they actually basically give you appetizers, main courses, desserts, and five other courses in between. Curious though, have you ever had peri peri chicken? Let me know in a comment down below if you've ever had peri peri chicken and ultimately what you think about it. I'll tell you what I think about it throughout the video. And that that's pretty much it. So ultimately let's tune on in and let's see what happens. Come on, seven minutes yet. <clears throat> the sauces and flavors are very, very good. I'm definitely impressed. All right. Our top box, chicken, cheese and tater tops. Super very, very good. Well into everything. I ate the chicken out of the top box. Got a drink down.
We're going to be doing another challenge in Scotland tomorrow. That's right. Hogan's. At Hogan's. And then, uh, then we're going to start heading south. Maybe at the George Pub. And some other locations. York and Leeds area. But stay tuned. Alright, my nemesis. Tom? That's your nemesis? Hiccups. Oh. I gotta say, I'm super impressed. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We should actually slow down. Someone should have to do the time. Ah. Alright, that's right. Sorry guys, I just remembered. Somebody get cash if you have to beat this time. So, I'm gonna. Recommend we slow down uh, so somebody can hopefully easily attain the cash in the future. But, for the record, very delicious. That being said, guys, we're just over 14 and a half in soon. Well, 14.5. Really enjoyable. I love these fries. Chicken was great. A bit spicier and saltier than I anticipated on the fire truck. Very, very good. How are you doing, Scott? Good shot. Yeah, he's over here. Got the spot. We're good. We're good. Yeah. And again, first challenge having a pint of ice cream. Specifically, Ben and Jerry's. Mm -hmm. Very good though. So I got this, much six, corn, or not corn, but garlic bread. I'm going to get this iron brew down, so I'm cracking it out. <coughs> Excuse me, conference and chef. <laughs> I just got some of their real spicy sauce here. So I want to try. Let's try a bite of that. How is it? Not bad. Ah, it's a good with that. Taste it up. We did weigh this top box. It's three pounds. Tater tots, cheese, chicken. Man, I do like my iron brew. Let me know if you ever had an iron brew down below. Hot man, this is real hot. Now I know why they call the hot box. Like temperature hot. The 
It tastes surprisingly good though. Like for teardots and cheese and chicken. And the sauce. That's it guys. The sauces here are very, very good. I put some ice cream on that. To cool it down. Really? That hot? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. And we're coming on 22 minutes in. No complaints. It is very tasty. And so, can't really get much off this box, tops. But I am trying. This is kind of just adhered to the paper. Excuse me. Try some matzo sticks, and then got some Ben and Jerry's. Scott is really we're about the same. We have the same portion for. We are 23 minutes, about 40, now 45 seconds in. Honestly, very, very delicious. Everything far surpassed any kind of belief I had because I've never had peri peri chicken. So it's like it's a very, very, very delicious. Very good. I'm definitely going to time around a little bit. Because like I said, in order to get the cash in the future, somebody does have to beat the record. So let that run. But that was awesome. I would love some more of that peri peri chicken. Seriously, I would definitely eat more. It was that good. Thank you for anybody who gave a super chat as well. And thank you to almost 1,600 people in. Very delicious. Does it normally rain like this in Alaska? Uh, yeah, it's normally for that either. Alright, so while well, Scott's doing that, we can probably uh, finish it. Well, we can finish together, I'd say. Take your time. We'll eat the ice creams. Mm -hmm. um, You tried Iron Beer the other day, right? Uh, maybe I'll sip. Sip a bit. Do you like it? I don't remember. I can have to try it again. If anybody's not familiar, it kind of reminds me of like a, the closest drink I compare it to. Although it still tastes quite different. It's an orange Powerade. Okay. I like it though. I like orange power. It's uh, brewed in Scotland to a secret recipe since 1901. That's good. Caramel choo choo. That's actually the one that I was going to choo choose, but Joel chose it, so I went with something different. I went with the fish, the fish food. How is it? It's good. So this has got chocolate ice cream with marshmallow, caramel, and chocolatey shaped fish. That sounds good. Mmm. Uh, and mine, very chocolatey. Caramel Choo Choo has caramel ice cream with a caramel swirl and chocolatey covered caramel chunks. 
Voila. Voila. Timothy, thank you so much. Appreciate the support, guys. To Candy asking, I don't eat like this all the time. To Candy asking, when we're coming to London, because Candy, I'd love to cross paths for yeah. a long time. Um, hmm. Candy art? Maybe like the what, 24th ish? About the 24th to 27th ish, around those times. So, you can send me a message. Please, hey, more specific. God bless you, Craig. This ice cream is nuts. There's, I think that's Craig right there. So Craig, that's super that right. is. You ready for the lunch? Mm -hmm. I so. Very good. All right, there you go. Cheers. Cheers. Later, guys. One, two, three. Bye. There, guys. 37, awesome. 10. 37, 10. Thank you, guys. 10. All right. Everybody live. One second. 37 sounds like 37 great. 37 10 minutes. Real quick. Stop. Alright everybody, so just finished up, 37 minutes, 10 seconds, super delicious. I actually, I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was like, very it was good. My first time having peri peri chicken. I've, you know, I've always heard of it. I knew it was loved all over the world. I didn't exactly know what it was like, but this was fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Everything from that wrap, even with the mozzarella sticks, was awesome. Um, the Both the chicken breast, the chicken tenders, the chicken wings, um, even that uh, top box was pretty dang good. Yeah. And of course, ben, I'm not gonna lie, Ben Jerry's is really good also. I mean, how can you go wrong? I also very much enjoyed the iron brew. And I'll even say those pear pear fries are actually really good. Yeah. I like those as well. Absolutely. They so, were some of the best fries uh, I've had in a while. That's right. So, Matt, we do get the meal for free. Uh, we do get the jackpot being one at 250, one at 100, which is pretty cool. We finish at the same time, I'm sure we'll split. And uh, that's about that, guys. So, uh, appreciate you guys. If you guys ever want to come to the challenge, Porter Pear Perry. Guys, 37 some minutes, I think you can do it. It was very, very good. And at least come by and try some of the food. I loved the sauces, I loved all the flavors, and uh, that's about that. We got a meal and dessert, so yeah, pretty good. So with that, everyone, Scott, any words? No, that's good, just a really good meal. I really appreciate the staff here, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. We both officially did get our first uh, food challenge win in Scotland. We both also ate our best food in Scotland, definitely the best food I've ever had in Scotland. And uh, at that, everyone, thank you for watching. Of course, the next time, say happy with hungry, happy eating. That's about it. You know what to do. Till next time, have a day. And I missed the sign, but this is what Scotland looks like, everybody. Welcome to Scotland. Look, we got Edinburgh, Glasgow, Dumfries, and I'm sure my pronunciations are great on all of those. And we're also driving. We are now in the fast lane versus the slow lane. In more, most of North America. And look here, this is what I look like in Scotland. This is what Scott looks like in Scotland. No pun intended. Uh, Scott, this is your land. Yes, yes. And here we got more of Scotland, guys. I'm going to clean this windshield here in a minute. I kind of forgot to do that. Uh, and it looks like kind of like Scotland, like I see in the movies. We have these, obviously, evergreen trees. Um, whoa, hold on. There you go, we have these evergreen trees, which look quite familiar to me, to, to Scott and I. 
based on, you know, Canada also being kind of a cooler climate, but there's huge forests to them. Is that focus? Huge forests to them. These great big kind of hilly thingy things. It's green. And while the UK is having a drought, they have a warning for heavy rain up here. So pretty interesting. Alrighty, but here is the world famous Glasgow Cathedral. Definitely a marvel of a building. It just looks so dated. It looks so old. It looks incredibly interesting. Uh, we're gonna see if we can sneak in real quick. There's only a couple minutes till closing, but just look at this. This is definitely, definitely a sight to be seen. Wow, it's like, uh, I don't know, it reminds me of a movie. All I gotta say, guys, I'm recording my first reaction entering into this place. What on earth? Look at this. This is insane. Holy crap. Excuse my language, but look at this, everybody. This is even bigger than I could have imagined. Look how vast this is. Look at the complexities of that stained glass. That is no, like nothing less of a feat of art. And it is just monstrous. There's so much, oh my gosh, the size and again, the complexity of these pieces. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. There's so many other um, little fixtures and stuff in here. Voting, you know, obviously glory to God, uh, something to a family. This looks like you're straight out of a movie and we've just entered into this. In the view of pretty much the whole kind of gallery or hall. And then we turn here, here at where the uh, actual service would perform. Crazy, look at, that. look at the altar. And just again, the true magnitude of this place is just, breathtaking crazy so many years of history in this place we are now in the lower church which is it's crazy the temperature difference from upstairs to down here you can tell we are like in the ground and full of stone huge temperature difference i mean for lack of a better word like i mean you can just tell how old not only these pillars but these rocks are and this is actually a uh, there's actually a tomb uh, down here. Um, somebody's buried down here. So we've noted uh, chapel and tomb of Saint Mungo, patron saint of Glasgow. So that right there, which is pretty phenomenal. I mean, the just it, it, it all down here is so like it's honestly reminds me of like. I don't know, like a dungeon or something I'd expect to see in a movie like medieval. But I mean, you know, here we got things talking about the architecture of the cathedral. So let's read this real quick. So the great piece of architecture like the Glasgow Cathedral was not an isolated work of art. The master masons responsible for the design had received their training and other buildings from previous experience was reflected in the ideas they devised. Uh, what was clearly well, it was very clear from the 13th century rebuilding of the cathedral. So we're talking 13th century, guys, is that the architectural links between Scotland and England were still close. That is absolutely, you know, I mean, it is. It is absolutely stellar. I think, uh, and there's, there's a little bit more to see, but probably one of the coolest buildings I've ever seen. And to think that it's, you know, 13th century, this is, this is old. And it's been on a number of different uh, shows, such as like Outlander, which makes sense because this whole place looks like a movie set. Because <laughs> I mean, it has been, I guess, is probably why I associate it with it. But this is just, it's crazy to think that this is naturally built and not just fabricated. And uh, I mean, they got some older pieces here, different works. You can tell how, you know, how old this, this piece is, like just from the wear. The writing on top. I mean, that's pretty dang cool. 
the Chapel of St. Nicholas, which is, again, I mean, it looks like it's right out of a movie. This is just absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, the, with the bars and everything, it almost reminds me of, uh, I mean, again, like a dungeon or something, but just, it's crazy. I see the stonework, obviously there are tables in here. Phenomenal. It's uh, definitely pieces which, you know, speak to a lot of the heritage, you know, talking about here, you know, he lies a gentleman, you know, who suffered at the cross, um, you know, for their testimony to the covenant and you know, their work of reformation, guys, look, 1666 and 1688, just, you know, crazy, so, uh, so, so just breathtaking. And just to give you perspective how big this thing is, and like it is just monumentous, guys. Talk about a beautiful building. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Like, looks like straight out of a movie. And right by the huge cathedral, we have all of this, which is. <laughs> okay, just to like, all of this you don't understand. We got huge graveyards. Up here it goes up, and like. Yeah, I know, we're gonna go up and see what this is all about. Everyone, look at these. How would you like a grave to commemorate you like this? Man, some of the size and, you know, obviously the age of some of these stones and pieces. Absolutely amazing. And just goes on and on up this hill, which is super, super cool. And I can't see because there's a tree right now, but this view of the cathedral really helps bring, you know, depth and perspective to it, but <laughs> definitely not something you see every day. Another view of the cathedral, just absolutely monumentous. But everybody, look at this. Look at these. The size of these commemorative graves and, and everything, like, to try to, like, give perspective. They're massive, like, who do you have to be to be buried in one of these, like, I don't even, like, and how long ago is this from? Like, just absolutely, not only monumentous, but huge, it's crazy, beautiful. And the, I mean, old, you can tell where the acid is worn on it, man. And there's, go, they just go on and on, overlooking, what is Alaska up here? Pretty cool. Oh, here we got more. 1842, 1888. Do we have a year on any of these? This one looks especially old. Uh, 1805 is one of the dates. Gorgeous, look at that view. Crazy. And to continue show you, look at some of it, like, you know, this is still, seven feet look how big this one is there's it compared to scott guys duncan mcfarland you who became the president of glasgow college and uh, i don't know man 150 years ago they just did things differently i guess and this is even a bigger statue right up there absolutely insane quite the memorials and here is what appears to be one of the most aerial views of Scotland, or Glasgow, that is, Glasgow. Guys, crazy. Like, you know, none of this, this just go on for miles and miles, but all the sights and the cool buildings, very impressive, all by this immense statue. And look at this, guys. Not every mural do I take, but this is a hyper-realistic mural. That is absolutely phenomenal. A gentleman with a bird. Crazy, and it is massive. I mean, see the people there. Super impressive. And downtown Glasgow, we got some cool-looking buildings. It's called Mercat Building. I don't really know what it is, but cool. We have this big Mercat Croft of something, which again is a pretty cool-looking thing. This is super cool. In the middle of the road, they have this clock tower. So this is a road, voila, and then a big clock tower, which is super cool, because not only does it look awesome and rustic, 
Well, that's something you never see in North America. And here we got some other cool looking building. The old clock tower on top. It says, Science of the Soul, Glasgow. Pretty cool. And we're here on the Albert Bridge in Glasgow, dating back to 1870. This is technically the bridge, and obviously the neighboring bridges and such. Pretty cool. But yeah, Glasgow. Definitely pretty. Very unique looking and old. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.